Hello and welcome to this presentation of SQL to Sage. My name is Oren Marchirosian and I'm going to show you how to bring data in from Microsoft SQL Server into Sage. So what's SQL Server? Well, SQL Server is one of the most popular databases uh, out in IT and it's used for all sorts of things from e-commerce, website, manufacturing, EPOS systems, CRM, in fact anywhere where volumes of data need to be stored. SQL to Sage basically allows you to enter pretty much any day-to-day uh, -day transaction that you would do in Sage directly from SQL Server rather than having to key it in. So things like purchase orders, sales orders, invoices and so on. So let's just jump straight into a demo. So in here, in this particular demo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I've put some data into my SQL Server Express, which is the free version of the database. Uh, and I've got some customers, products, sales orders and product invoices, which have been generated from my website e-commerce site. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press one magic button and I'm going to import those directly into Sage. So let's go and have a look at it. So this is my data, which we'll have a look at in a minute. But let's go and just uh, uh, press one button. And here I've got two buttons, one for importing MySQL data, which is a different type of database. And there's a separate YouTube video on that in case you're interested. And this one is bringing it in from Microsoft SQL Server. So when I click on that, what that will do is it will go into my database and it'll start bringing in customers, suppliers, uh, products and so on. And here's my SQL database and this is my customer tab. And these are all the fields that you would expect uh, on a customer record. Uh, but on top of all of that, we've got one extra one at the end, which is the status. And what that does, that then shows you whether it's been sent to Sage or not. So in this particular case, uh, that one's now been imported into Sage. If I go to the sales order one, that one hasn't been done. And in a minute that after that's been imported, that will then change to, uh, to, to, to sent as well. And these are all the fields that you would have on, for example, a product invoice. Uh, and these are all the records that you would have for a product to create that into Sage. So that's now just uh, importing those transactions into Sage and in a minute we'll be uh, able to see what it's done. And here it is, here's the log file. And I can see that it's gone through and it's created uh, particular customers, SQL001, SQL002. Further down, it's gone through and it's uh, updated particular product codes, which is great. Further down, it's created two product invoices, uh, 173 and 174. And it has also created some sales orders. So four, in fact, but the fourth one, number 44, is actually a quote. So let's go and have a look at those in Sage. So <clears throat> I'll go into Sage, go to my customers and just refresh that. And there we are. These are the four customers that were imported from my SQL database. Let's go and have a look at sales orders. And if I refresh that, there we go. These are the four sales orders that have been brought in from SQL Server. And if I just open one of these up, I can then just see the normal uh, data entry as if I'd done it myself. And if I go into product invoices and refresh that, and there we go, there's the uh, product invoice that came in from SQL Server, again with the details that I had in the database. Really simple. So what are the key benefits? Well, it's very quick and easy to set up. Uh, typically in uh, less than a couple of hours and it works with any version of SQL Server including the free one which is the SQL Express. It's very cost effective because it saves you time and money you don't have to rekey stuff in and you don't have all the problems with uh, getting data errors and things like that. It can be either manual or automated. For the demo I press the button in Sage to instigate the import but that can be put onto a Windows scheduler or in fact it could be embedded into your other applications so that instead of Sage pulling the data you can push it from your other application into Sage whenever it's ready. It's efficient for large volume sites. So for example, if you've got lots and lots of invoices to come in, we have the ability to put a flag on to say, also update the ledgers after you've imported it. And finally, we've got a status column, uh, which allows you to control and put data in uh, so that you don't have uh, any duplicates. So what do I do next? Well, there's a free trial, so please feel free to reach out and drop me an email or give me a call and uh, we'll set up a free trial for you. And uh, I would um, uh, invite you to go and have a look at our YouTube video whereby you will see lots and lots of videos of other um, uh, products that we have in the marketplace uh, to make your life with Sage a lot more efficient. Thank you very much for your time and interest in SQL to Sage and uh, we look forward to uh, hearing from you and working with you. Thank you.